Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amy. So in today's video, it is time to do my July wrap up. I can't believe July is gone now. I'm actually filming this quite late because I was on holiday from the start of August. So I didn't have time like end of July either to like get it out but I'm getting it out now and my TBR for next month or this month is going to be coming out. This month was actually a really good reading month. I thought I hadn't read that much books just because some of the books that I have read were for like videos but even then I counted it and it was only like four books but that's in terms of physical books. I read a lot on my Kindle. I read so much on my Kindle. Probably been why I've been able to read so much but obviously definitely next month my TBR is mainly physical books because I need to get through them because I have a really bad habit of picking out a TBR every month that is a physical like edition and then what happens is I don't want to read them and then I find new books from TikTok to read on my Kindle so I've decided that next month I'm definitely just going to focus on reading my physical books I've gotten rid of all the books I've read on my Kindle so I just have the ones that I still need to read but I'm kind of giving myself a little bit of a time away from Kindle reading but I'll still be doing some. So this month I read 15 books. Like I'm so shocked. I think this might be one of my best reading months yet. Just because purely I've been reading on my Kindle. If you guys haven't watched my video before, I did a video where I read TikTok popular books. I'm going to do other parts of it. I've just labeled it part one. But if you've not watched it, go and watch that video because the books that I will be talking about is from that video. Apart from that, I haven't done much book videos, so that's probably why I haven't been reading as much as my physical books. But next month I really want to read them. I think it just takes me such a long time to read physical books. So that's why I can't read lots of them. Whereas Kindle books, I can literally read them within like a couple of hours hours but I'm trying to make it a challenge to myself to read more of my physical books. I don't want to read this physical books too quickly that I don't enjoy them but that is a con of reading kindle books is the fact that I read loads of them but it doesn't mean I remember what happens whereas physical books I remember a lot more of what happened I think that's because I'm reading them like physical and I take longer time to like read them and process them but anyways let's not talk about that anymore so the first book that I read in July is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This one's by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I absolutely adored and fell in love with this book. I was so skeptical to read this book because I read Malibu Rising and I wasn't really that sure of it. And I kind of DNF'd that book. But I was so happy that I gave this book a chance. I started reading, I got into it, and it just became one of my favourite books that I have read this year. I learned so much from this book. I feel like, you know a book is great when the author like really dwells into emotions, and also when a character is both lovable, but also like you don't like them at the same time. And this is how I felt about Evelyn Hugo. Throughout the whole book, she kept me to the edge of my seat. This book kept me to the edge of my seat, wanting to know what happened happened next what the story was with her husband and stuff like that but I wasn't prepared for all the twists and turns that this book would take me on and I was so glad that I took chance on reading it so this book I rated a five stars I fell in love with it so much and if you haven't read this book I definitely recommend go reading it because it is definitely one for the books so the next book that I read in July is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas this book most people know it it is is a fantasy series so I picked this up I really wanted to read it some of my favorite youtubers will we're talking about it and I'm so happy I did pick up this book. I don't read a lot of fantasy books but I'm so happy that I am getting back into fantasy because I forgot how enjoyable it was. I more watch fantasy movies but this book as well as some of the other books that I read has really changed my perspective of fantasy. I definitely want to buy a lot more books that are fantasy because I do enjoy romance so much and when you enjoy a genre so much you don't want to dwell into the other ones but I really want to try out reading a lot more fantasy but even hardcore fantasy that doesn't have really romance as a plot. Anyways, A Court of Thorns and Roses, this one features Fair, who is taken prisoner after she kills 
um, one of their high fairs and she gets sent to go live with one of the high fairs and then a romance might blossom by living there but then at the same time there's also a threat shadow looming over the city which is causing trouble no one knows really what it is and this book really dwells into the world I really enjoyed it because I felt that I was in a different world the whole entire time of reading it and it was just really refreshing and you might not relate to the characters but it's just a really interesting story. I just like the twist and turn. So I really enjoyed reading this book. I can't wait to read the next book. That is going to be on my August TBR. So stay tuned. And I'm so excited to finish the series. I'm so happy. This book is just really good. There, I didn't give it a 5 stars. I did give it a 4.5. Because even though it was really an amazing book. There were a few issues that I found with the book. I think this book is definitely more of an introduction to the series. Rather than it like being my favourite one. I feel like my, the next books might be my favourites just because they get more into the story. This was kind of like introducing the characters, showing how it is, introducing Fair and the next characters really dwelled more into the journey. So the next book I read was Addicted to You by Krista and Becca Ritchie. This book is features two friends, Lily and Lauren. They both have two addictions. She's addicted to sex and he's addicted to alcohol. And they are in this fake relationship to hide their addictions from their friends and families. So they're also best friends. I don't know if I mentioned that. So this book was a really, really good book. I rated it three stars, I believe. Yeah, I rated it three stars just because... I felt like there was something missing and I felt that some parts of this book was just way too long and it got a bit repetitive. I really enjoyed it still. These two characters, I can still see myself really loving them. I feel like they've got a lot of depth to them and I wait. I can't wait to see a little bit more of that shine throughout the next books. But it was definitely a really good introduction into the series. The next book I think is Ricochet or Addicted for Now. I can't remember which one but I do have the series so I will be dwelling into the the next books soon because I like to actually attempt to finish series because I love series so much I feel like when I read series I have to kind of read them all together so like I might have them all in one one because it's easier to just remember the story but this book was really good I loved the other characters that they introduced there were Mike I believe and Connor and then obviously you met Rose um, which is Lily's sister and then you also meet Poppy and her other sisters so we're really excited to learn more about those characters and I feel like it does have a complete kind of circle and atmosphere I feel like it doesn't feel like there's parts missing I just feel like I want to know more especially in terms of the characters and I really just loved how it ended I feel like the last chapters really sold this book for me because it just so much happened and I was just like wow I'm really excited to learn more about the books and the other characters especially Connor and Rose's relationship I quite found them quite intriguing but in this book it did feel rushed the fact that they got into a relationship so quickly so I'd love to see how that relationship progressed. So I really enjoyed this book but obviously I gave it three stars because it wasn't my favourite book. They're not my favourite book couple at the moment. I feel like that could change. So that was the third book I read in July. And the, the last next book that I read this month is Shatter Me. Shatter Me is also part of a series and it is again a fantasy book but obviously it has rumours of the subplot. This features Juliet who's been trapped all of her life and she finds finally escapes and she has a gift her gift is is that when she touches someone and they die and when she finally escapes she kind of has that hidden turmoil where she's trying to decide if she thinks this gift is a curse or a gift and you meet characters along the way we meet adam who supposedly gets thrown into the cell with her and she kind of remembers him she's like oh i remember you from school so they're kind of like childhood friends but she didn't know if he remembered her and it's kind of their story together but it's also mainly about juliet finding out who she was and her having that development in terms of how she feels about her gift so i really enjoyed this book overall i rated it a four stars this book was a great introduction into the series and this was my first proper fantasy book in a long long time and it was just really refreshing and same as court of thorns and roses it was really refreshing but i felt like i did lack a bit of empathy with julia it comes along with the territory really because she has powers that i can't relate to those powers so a lot of her problems was because she had those powers but i really enjoyed this book all in all 
and I'm really excited to delve into the rest of the books. I have the rest of the series again. So this month I am started a lot of reading of series and I hope that I really enjoy them. So I might do a full video on like the best series of 2023 towards the end of the year. So if you want to see that, let me know. But it was just such a good read and it was just refreshing as I've said before and yeah that was one of the other books I read in July. This is the last physical books that I read in July. The rest are all on my Kindle. A lot of my books I read on my Kindle were like three stars or maybe 2.5 or even some two stars. So I'm just gonna go through them all, talk a bit about them and let you know what I thought about them as well. So I have all of them on my phone as I said before. So the first book that I will be talking about, I'm gonna have a little photo here, was Empire of Lust by J.L. Beck. This is a dark mafia romance and I gave this one a three stars. Oh I can't remember what happens, that's the thing, when I read Kindle it I can't remember what happens but I do remember I really enjoyed it but it was a very mid read. There are different series, I think this is a part of a series as well so I might read that but it was a really good dark romance. Um, I really want to read some more. There were some, I have quite a few dark romance on this list actually. But anyways, let's just move on. So the book I read in July was Puckin' Around by Emily Raff. I gave this one a three stars. Again, it was very mid book and there were some things I didn't really like. It just wasn't my cup of tea. So this is a hockey romance, but it's also a reverse Hiram. Uh, the protagonist is in a relationship with three males and then two of the males are also in a relationship. So it is a reverse Hiram and it's not a monogamous relationship which I do prefer reading because I'm not really into the polygamous type and I don't find it interesting personally but it was a good book it was very mid I did enjoy some aspects of it I did feel it quite exciting but again it wasn't my favorite it was very mid and yeah and obviously this book has had a lot of controversy recently on TikTok especially the American TikTok obviously I'm not going to talk about that because I'm in the UK but from what I've heard it's just I don't accept the idea of sexualizing hockey plays and stuff like that I like to read books because I enjoy it I obsess with sports very much I love it but I don't really I don't interact with it in my personal life so it just really stays within books so that's all I'm really gonna say about that another book that I read was Beyond the Game by Susan Renee this one's three stars this one was actually really good i really enjoyed it beyond the game is another sports romance i did have a lot of those i gave it a three stars again because it was very mid i did enjoy it i don't remember again what actually happens in it because it was right at the start of the month and on my kindle i feel like when i read it quickly i don't really take it in which is a bad habit on my side but again it was a cute book it was really a simple book fast paced and not nothing much going on compared to some of the other books and i think that's why i gave it three stars because the characters la lacked a bit of depth in my eyes the next book that i read was devious lies by parker huntington i gave this book a three stars this is a small town romance it is a enemies to lovers this one features emery and reed these two are kind of enemies because Emmy's family is very rich and powerful and her dad did a lot of negative things before he died and her best friend Nash family really suffered from it. They were friends, they were best friends together and their families were best friends until very tragically this thing happened between the parents and the dad obviously died on Emmy's side and Nash has an older brother called Reed. Reed wants revenge. This family does not talk to each other anymore. And Emmy's kind of trying to... She's still friends with Nash, I believe. But Reed absolutely hates her. He wants nothing to do with her. And he wants revenge. So it is a revenge plot. And it is a small town. It is an enemies to lover. And it was spicy. It also had an age gap. Because obviously Reed is a older male compared to her. But it was really good. Again, I think it lacked its depth and width about it. It could have been a really good, solid story. So the next book I read was Darling Venom by Parker Huntington again. This one I gave it a 3.5. Just before I talk about this book, I do recommend a TW because it does mention suicide and depression and mental health. But this book follows Charlotte. Charlotte is, Charlotte is having a very difficult... 
has a very difficult life. Her parents both died in a fire and she's left with just her older sister and she has a lot of guilt to what happened to her family and how they died and basically she decides that she's going to end her life. Upon doing that she enters a roof that she's about to jump off and she meets this guy called Kalan and they both make a pact that every year So they decide that every year they're going to meet up and basically stop each other from killing themselves. So every year they meet up and it's on Valentine's Day ironically and it's Charlotte's birthday. But one year arrives where one of them breaks the pact. Kalan decides to kill himself. She is like really feeling bad about it so she goes to visit his older brother. Fast forward, she is older now and she works for this company boss is pregnant and he is a gynecologist so she goes and visits him and then realizes that it's his the brother of her best friend and obviously she doesn't tell that at first and when he meets her he kind of doesn't know what to say about her like he doesn't think she's all like he doesn't want to talk to her really and Kilan, who died, always painted his brother as like someone not to like. So she kind of went in there not liking him. And, and this book was really good. I gave it a 3.5 because it wasn't my absolutely favourite book. Maybe because it was read on my Kindle. But I definitely do want to buy it in physical to see if I would prefer it better. This book had a lot of depth to it. A lot of depth to it. A lot of meaning to it. But it just didn't hit me. Like, I, uh, I did enjoy it still. It was really good. It was just really interesting. And it, I kept hooked the whole time. But it was also fast paced. The next book is called Praise by Sarah Kate. This one is a age gap romance. She falls in love with her best friend's dad. I don't know. I think it's that one. I can't remember. I keep getting books mixed up. If they sound similar, I always like mix them up. But this one I gave two stars i didn't really enjoy it at all this is the cover for it i didn't really enjoy it at all it wasn't my cup of tea but it wasn't the worst book that i read it was just fast paced easy the spot was good but there wasn't much to it and that is all i've really got to say about this book the next book i read was into the tide by laura pavoff i don't know if i'm butchering the name i'm sorry but i gave this book a two stars i did end up dnf it towards the end of the book because it did get boring so that is why i gave it a two stars so it was it's more time romance i felt like it had so much potential but it just wasn't hitting me and i got bored really easily and i decided to just not read it anymore so that is what i had in here the next one i read is a series so the next four books is a series this one is a ya i would say ya but also adult kind of book the first book i gave two stars this one is an enemies kind of thing if there are these three boys who are well known at the school and she kind of falls in love with the main protagonist it's enemies to lovers because for some reason he doesn't like her and he's really content on making her time at the school not a good one kind of that tension where she's more sunshine he's very grumpy and it's like he starts falling in love with her and it's just a really cute story i feel like it was my favorite book at all i feel like again this book had a lot of potential but it just didn't do it for me second book is focused on another character this one i gave a three stars actually to this one because i preferred it better this one does have a pregnancy trope i know a lot of people don't like that but i quite liked it so this girl has a one night stand with one of the guys one of the three guys um, that it focuses on. And she moves to the school not knowing that the guy that got her pregnant is... I think it's her friend's... Yeah, I think it's her friend's brother. So she's like really shocked and stuff like that. And this book was just so cute. It was just so cute seeing the male protagonist go into the father role really quickly and want to support the girl that he was with. Of course he was upset when he found out she was pregnant stuff like that but you can tell he really wanted to be a good father so i really enjoyed it again it missed the depth and it didn't really hit me it was just a fast easy read and it was just simple there's no cheating and it had a very good happy ending and then the last two books of the series this one focuses on just one couple um this one focuses on one of the other lads and 
his best friend's little sister the series goes this is where the series becomes more adult because it starts off them as children and then it shows them when they're a lot older when they're like 22 so this features two characters brother's best friend and basically she's always kind of like fancied him but he doesn't fancy her because he's like oh she's too young for me but he's also kind of also fancied her and they sleep in one night together when they were younger or kissing one night and she gets older and she like really wants to be with him but he is black and she's white so there's also that interracial relationship into it i'm getting into relation book in the second book but it just doesn't really end well and there's obviously the difficulty because he comes affluent family that don't want him to marry a white girl they want him i think he's part of I think these boys are also sports boys, I can't remember, but he was every sports boy, so it dwells into that. I felt like these characters were very lovable, they could have been very lovable, but again, this book didn't hit me, maybe because I was reading it on my Kindle, but it wasn't my favourite series. I could see a whole universe being formed, but I felt like it did lack some of that depth, and it didn't go into DL about these types of stuff. It came this book these this whole series has a lot of important tropes and a lot of important issues but i don't feel like it dwelled into them enough and it didn't i don't know it just didn't have enough depth for me so these two books i gave the cruel devil which is book three uh three stars and then i gave the second book also a three stars i did enjoy them but again they were mid but yeah, that was the series. I'm hoping to get these ones in person as well because I feel like if I read them a second time, it might change my mind. I think it also depends on my mindset when I go to read. So that is all the books I read in July. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm actually really proud of myself for reading 15 books this month, but I definitely want to focus on the quality of my reading because I don't feel like I remember anything because I'm reading so much and so much on my kindle that it doesn't stick in my head so I'm definitely going to see if I can take more time reading but also like make little notes if I can maybe get a book I might think about getting a little journal to write in my thoughts if anyone has any tips for retaining more about the book let me know I feel like you can tell if I really enjoy a book just by one how I talk about it two how fast I not how fast I read it but like I take time to read it and I don't want to stop reading three I've made like annotations or somewhat to it so that is something that I am trying to focus on more of so if anyone has had that difficulty let me know because I feel like when you read too many books that you don't enjoy it can put you into a slump but uh, anyways let me stop talking i hope you guys enjoyed my reading wrap up i can't wait to see what august has in store for me and i can't wait to see how my channel grows even more i love all you guys so much and anyone that watches my videos you guys are really why i keep making videos but also i enjoy making videos making youtube videos is just really the highlight of my life at the moment especially finishing university this really gives me something to do it's not alongside work as well because i do work alongside filming and stuff like that and i will hopefully be doing a masters but it's just a good creative outlet so if you really did like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment down below and also subscribe if you want to see more of my content go watch my recent books i have started to plan out more videos that i want to do because i feel like the reason why i find it difficult to release videos is because i don't plan them out i just try to think of them and then when i can't think of an idea I just leave it but if you like this video as well make sure you share with anyone that you know that i will see you guys in the next video i love you all Everything goes white I can feel the breeze Euphoric delight